In this video, we're going to design a clock face. So we're starting with the Business Now Unique Photo Gifts home page. Uh, so we'll just navigate over to Clocks, and then there we see that there's a few different templates that can be used. Uh, we're going to use the Photoshop template. So by right-clicking on that, we can save that link to where we can use it. We're going to add it to our project material uh, fo folder there and just save that in there and that is now appeared in our folder here so to edit that we'll just double click on that loads in Photoshop with the no numbers for the clock already designed and an outline of what the actual clock uh, face size is so now what we want to do is add up uh, add a photo to this. Now I've decided that this photo here of a sailboat is what I want to use for this project. So I'll double click that and select it. And I'm going just going to select part of that picture from the right. And that's the area I'm going to copy. So we'll copy that, then we'll go over back over to our clock template and we'll just go in and paste that image in there. Now that again is a little bit uh, larger than the clock face so I'm gonna, going to zoom out a little bit over here where I'm just going to hit control minus to zoom out and then we are on the layer with that photo uh, maybe we want to just move it so that we can see the uh, outline of the clock so we can see what we have there but we still want to size that area so we're going to go in and go to edit and we want transform and scale so that has selected that image so now if I hold down the shift key while I grab a corner and scale that I can scale that down to fit better um, I like the sailboat a little bit off the center um, because the clock hands are going to come out of the center and this is this is going to give it a nice perspective there so I like it just the way it is there so to apply that scaling uh, and placement we just double click on that while it's selected so that is now applied uh, so essentially we have already now designed our clock face uh, so what I'm going to do then, okay, we, we'll just uh, save this file as is. So we've got our Photoshop. It's still called Clock Template, but that's okay. Um, so we've got our sh Photoshop file there. Now, for an image to send for printing, then we don't need to send a large Photoshop file because if we look here in properties, this file is 40 megabytes in size. It gets a bit large to send at times. So we want to create a smaller file for that. And we okay, we don't want that outline of the clock showing there. So for that, that was on this layer here, we're just going to hide that layer. So that doesn't show now. So now we want to go save as and save a copy as a JPEG file and we're still saving into that project material and we'll just call it C clock because we've now got a nice picture of the C in there and you can name it anything you want um, now we want a high quality here uh, we want the highest quality so we go for maximum there and actually maximum is really 12 so we'll save it as that okay and our JPEG clock has now shown up in there so that's ready to go so we'll minimize our Photoshop here and then we will continue we would choose the clock that we want now those clocks the faces are the same size whether you order the one without the frame or with the frame um, I think this is going to be a nice clean modern look without the frame all we have is the picture and some numbers on there so we're gonna order that one so we click on that and then click buy now and up pops the payment screen so then you would fill all of that in 
once you've done that and and you've done your transaction there uh, it would actually then take you to our uh, upload page so I'm just going to go back because I'm not going to do the payment right now and I'm just going to go directly to the upload page there so here we have a nice drag and drop uh, file send box so all we need to do there is take the our JPEG for our C clock and drag it and drop it onto there then we just fill in our name um, Joe Smith today and okay fill in an email address transfer name is C clock and then any op optional message that you want to send for example you might want to include your phone number there in case we have any questions that it can that you can be contacted then you can just click on send now and you have placed your order thank you hope and I hope this was helpful